One of the oldest and most known ways of extending lifespan in virtually all species is calorie restriction, but it also goes a layer deeper than that, with some studies indicating that protein restriction, and especially restricting certain amino acids, is the key to actually mediating a lot of the benefits of calorie restriction, as well as the extension in lifespan. So in this video, we're going to take a look at all the different studies that talk about the restriction of methionine, the specific amino acid that appears to be important for having the life extension benefits. Do it! I think a good place to start with is one of the earliest studies in this field of uh, protein restriction and especially methionine restriction in 1993. We report here that lifelong reduction in the concentration of a single dietary component, the essential amino acid L-methionine, from 0.86 to 0.17 percent of the diet results in a 30 percent longer lifespan of male fisher 344 rats. Methionine restriction completely abolished growth, although food intake was actually greater on a body weight basis. And the next year, 1994, they found again that methionine restriction increases blood glutathione and longevity in the same model of rats F344. Methionine restriction resulted in a 42% increase in mean and 44% increase in maximum lifespan and in 43% lower body weight compared to controls. Blood glutathione levels were increased by 81% and 164% in mature and old methionine restricted animals respectively. Of course these studies are done in rats there aren't no actual clinical human studies on methionine restriction in terms of longevity and whether or not it's going to increase lifespan because it's virtually impossible to do that kind of a study because humans we live exponentially longer than mice and rats do. However, there are some human studies as well on dietary methionine restriction and they do find that it increases fat oxidation and uh, helps with weight loss in obese patients or adults with a metabolic syndrome. However, there are some possible longevity benefits for humans as well in terms terms of regulating your methionine intake. You see, excess methionine can raise homocysteine, which is a cardiovascular disease risk factor. It's one of the most powerful risk factors for developing cardiovascular disease. And if you consume too much methionine, and you don't support adequate amounts of methylation, then your homocysteine levels may rise. And this is the kind of issue that may also have a negative effect on your longevity. However, for excess methionine to have a negative effect on your homocysteine levels and cardiovascular disease risk, then you would also have to be inadequate in the methyl donors that would buffer against the methionine. One of the key amino acids that prevents that and counteracts the possible rise in homocysteine by methionine is glycine. And there are actually studies showing how glycine supplementation can mimic the benefits of methionine restriction and uh, mediate a lot of the longevity benefits as well, similar to calorie restriction, because it prevents the rise in homocysteine and also prevents the other negative side effects of excess methionine in your diet. So in this particular study, they found that a diet consisting of 8% glycine in mice led to a 4 to 6% statistically significant increase in lifespan. But in this study, they actually found that the glycine supplementation may mimic the same longevity benefits as methionine restriction, which has been shown to extend lifespan in uh, rodents by 30 to 40%. And uh, glycine does suppress the methionine-induced hyperhomocysteinemia, which means that, yeah, methionine increasing your homocysteine levels and uh, glycine is, uh, yeah, the main amino acid that is able to do that. But of course, there are some other key nutrients here as well, like vitamin B12 and other, uh, let's say, vitamins and minerals and uh, compounds involved in the methylation cycle. Betaine or trimethylglycine has also been actually shown uh, to decrease plasma homocysteine levels. Supplementation with at least 4 grams a day of betaine or trimethylglycine for a minimum of 6 weeks can lower plasma homocysteine. So what we know based on the studies is that excess methionine in animals does shorten their lifespan and restricting methionine in these animals extends their lifespan. That lifespan extension can be up to 30 to 40 percent. But the issue with those studies of course is that it's animal studies and it's also very impossible to kind of conduct similar methionine restriction in a human population. Those animals, they're always in the laboratory setting, they're enclosed from the outside environment, they're living in a pathogen-free environment, and if a human were to try to mimic that, first of all, they would like feel very unhappy, it would be very uncomfortable and very hard to pull it off. And second of all, low methionine intake can also increase the risk of certain other 
diseases, like you may get actually increased risk of pathogens and you have a weaker immune system and lower methionine intake can also suppress growth pathways. And this is one of the mechanisms that they do think that methionine is also involved in the pathways of aging and longevity. Methionine increases IGF-1 levels, it increases the mTOR activation, which are all involved in the process of growth and muscle growth, but also aging. So for humans, it's obviously very hard to be on a very low methionine diet because almost all foods have methionine. Methionine is an essential amino acid, it's the most abundant amino acid in the diet. You do get more methionine from animal protein sources and let's say eggs, fish, meat, etc. But you do also get methionine from plant-based sources. So it's very impossible to be on a, like a zero methionine diet. And you don't want to be on a zero methionine diet. You want to get adequate amounts of methionine, but you don't want to let methionine to raise your homocysteine levels. The more likely scenario is that the methionine will raise your homocysteine levels if you're not getting enough of the methyl donors, mostly B12, glycine, and trimethylglycine. There are some genetic differences here as well. Some people need more of the methyl donors and other people need less. Most people would still benefit from supplementing glycine for at least like 10 to 15 grams a day. You can check out my full breakdown of the longevity benefits of glycine and why you want to take it, but you want to support your collagen synthesis and creatine synthesis, glutathione synthesis, as well with at least 12 to 15 grams of glycine per day and if you're eating more methionine which like 80 percent of people are if they're eating like animal protein sources then you would want to actually increase your glycine intake probably a lot more now the glycine can come from either your supplements just the glycine powder is great you can add it to teas you can add it to coffee you can just take it with a spoon it tastes uh, nice and sweet and uh, it has a good benefit for balancing homocysteine and methionine but you can also get glycine from plant-based sources plant-based protein sources have more glycine to methionine and you can get glycine from these tendons and ligaments and different kinds of skin tissue Jelly. and if you want to learn more about optimizing your glycine intake then check out my book with dr james it's called the collagen cure interestingly enough it doesn't appear that you need to be on a continuous methionine restriction either to get some of the longevity benefits and the health span benefits and in this study they found that intermittent methionine restriction was as good in reducing IGF-1 and uh, having the longevity benefits similar to continuous methionine restriction. Of course this study was done in mice again but uh, they found that intermittent methionine restriction produces similar beneficial metabolic effects to continuous methionine restriction. So the takeaway message in my opinion is that you don't want to be eating a lot of methionine all the time. For the longevity benefits, for the health span benefits, you want to balance your methionine with glycine rich proteins. And if you're not eating enough glycine rich proteins then the easiest and the most important thing to do is to supplement with either methylglycine, glycine or a B12. But do you want to slow down aging and live longer? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.